But backing the blue is much more about than just wearing the color with police officers across the state in mourning and emotions are running high and departments are reflecting that times like these are tough. And they really are. Still, the job must go on and the badge doesn't come off. THV 11's Jordan Howington had a candid conversation with a police officer who takes his vow to protect and serve to heart. Now, Officer Richard McNeil has spent more than two decades in law enforcement. Today, I asked him, do you fear the unknown? Well, he said no. It's just a part of the job to be willing to pay the ultimate price to ensure the public safety. Hi. Officer McNeil, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Officer Richard McNeil has spent 25 years wearing the badge. 185. But in recent years, the job has shifted. It's not like when I first started out, it's gotten worse. Um, but, you know, we're up for the challenge. He says every day he works to be the peacemaker between his community and police. But despite the efforts on a local level, he says hatred toward law enforcement is worse than it's ever been. We understand, obviously, it comes with the job. In the last five days, five law enforcement officers have been killed in the line of duty, one being Officer Stephen Carr with the Fayetteville Police Department. Hitting close to home for Officer McNeil and Sherwood Police Department, learning their brother in blue was gunned down in his safe zone on PD property, which has spun up a conversation in Sherwood. It can happen anywhere. So what this does, unfortunately, it gives us um, opportunities to talk amongst ourselves to see exactly, you know, how to how to stay vigilant, how to be aware of your surroundings all the time. It's not just inside the car when the car is moving. It's when the car is parked. Um, it's every call. The Sherwood Police Department have multiple safety policies in place for officers, but learning of Officer Carr's tragic death, they hope to learn something new that will, in hopes, be a lifesaver. My lieutenant talked about that with us just yesterday, just to keep everybody on their toes. Um, again, not take anything for granted because at the end of the day, we all want to go home safe. I spoke with multiple police departments across the state today asking if any safety policy change or safety policy changes go from here. Many of them say no. There are strict policies already in place, but Officer Carr's death makes other officers take notice and be more careful moving forward.